Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock. Last time, we navigated through the security level and made it to the bridge just in time for the separation from the rest of Citadel Station. Our goal now is pretty simple. We have to get to the hub at the center of this level of the bridge, and then we have to go into cyberspace and destroy Shodan, and the game will be over. The bridge, like the last two levels, doesn't have any respawn on it, so I don't have to worry. The walls are covered with biological infestation. Boom, there went Citadel. Exterior camera DAH-22L detects permanent systems failure aboard Citadel Station. Sat range 4.8 kilometers, report filed E-log 7-11-72-20-02-03. All right. Let's turn right first. Let's just be careful. Alright, we got a storage room door here. It's just too bad there's not a quick save button. System Shock 2 has quick saving, though. Well, there was an assassin. He had Teflon pistol clip and a normal pistol clip. Let me just look at the level layout anyway. Oh, I was wrong about the no respawn. There's one category of enemy that does respawn. The, uh... <laughs> level security now 87%. The auto bombs respawn. And there are a bunch of them. So I'll just have to be careful of that. <laughs> Alright, got a mutated cyborg. That's good. Interesting. More interesting. That opened something. Security 2 bot. He's not carrying anything. There's another Security 2 bot. There are 15 of them left. There's only one cyborg assassin. And there are four more mutated cyborgs. <laughs> 
14 of those left. Thirteen. Magnesium tip shells. And the version three cents around. Now that changes. Eleven. And now let's see what's in the middle. A puzzle to solve. We heard about this in an email. We'll have to rewire three circuits to open the three four stores that are between us and the central hub where Shodan is. Four store one. The computer room opened. Very good. Okay. That appears to be it for that room. Well, we'll just keep on keeping on. That one was jacked up somehow. He had a bunch of extra health. So we'll have to be a little bit more careful dealing with him. There we go. Three mutated cyborgs left. There's a shielded door. Now there are ten security two bots left. Level security is down to seventy five percent. Level security is down to 62%. There's nothing on that particular corpse.
There are nine security security two bots left. Back here, there are one, two meta patches. I'm gonna use an iCAD battery. Refill my energy. There's a four store. The door is locked, of course. Service access door with a cortex reaver behind it. Railgun ammo. Almost didn't see it. Human corpse. First aid kit. Back here. Railgun ammo. A railgun. Let's see what's up this ramp since it's open. Try our plasma rifle. <laughs> Power supply exhausted. But we killed him. That's the important part. There's a live landmine. Oh good, there's a ladder. Let's just drop down here. Let's blow that live landmine. I think I'm far enough away. Yes, good. Let's see if I can't recharge yet. Still charging. I don't know what made the force bridge finally go, but... I guess we'll explore the top level first. I don't want to wander too far away with no energy. Right, let's let's see what's over here, I guess. Got the force bridge going 
all the way across now. Alright, now we've got energy. Let's check the bottom here first. That is an elite cyborg. There are 12 of them at the start, which means there are 11 now. There's another. As you can see, they are strong. Now there are 10. I don't know if there's another one or not. Okay. Well, we're out of the hot zone. A the death of another mutated cyborg means there's only one left. And here we start seeing auto bombs. Hmm. Doesn't want to let me into that tunnel. At least I can get around it this way. <laughs> Fuckers are everywhere! Ah! Okay, well I guess this is the autobomb maze. <laughs> right. Okay, well, I guess we should destroy these things. Got one. Yeah, they're gonna respawn, but we can't just, uh, we can't get through here without destroying them, so I'll just have to stay on my toes. I'll have to do a much better job than that. Turbo Motion Booster System V2. Three railgun clips. And the other entrance to the maze. That's fine. Alright. Let's keep going. Ever mindful of the dangers. Knew I could hit it from here. Damn. One snuck up on me. Oh, now they're starting to respawn behind me.
Nothing induces panic quite like that awful realization. <laughs> Fucking kamikazes are spawning in behind me. Well, it looks like I've arrived at a second puzzle. Well, let's do this. Force door three to computer room opened. leaves one more four store we have to get open just a moment and we're back sorry about the jump there my wife called me <laughs> well, we got the puzzle solved I want to make sure I explore the rest of this Horrible auto bomb maze. I think I got tagged from behind just then. As these assholes are wont to do. In the immortal words of Marcellus Wallace, Motherfucker. <laughs> I knew one of them was sneaking up behind me. <laughs> Shit is brutal. I wouldn't be surprised if yet another one was behind me. Yeah, where... It has to be spawning one in behind me. Maybe I should use the shield. That seems like a good idea. Ouch. Try and map out the rest of the maze.
we're close, I think. We're very close. And as is frequently the case, it turned out I was just a little too excited. I mean, don't get me wrong, we are pretty close, but... Doesn't mean I can stop being careful. Need to make sure there's nothing awesome in that little spot in the middle I haven't explored yet. I doubt it. But it's worth it to be sure. Okay, now I just need to make my way out. And there we go. We're out of the god awful auto bomb maze. I vote, we save. And now we return to our exploration of the main bridge level. Don't have to deal with the auto bombs anymore. That's good. There are, by my count, the Cortex Reaver, 10 Cyborg Elites, 1 Mutated Cyborg, 9 Security 2 Bots, and one cyborg assassin left on this level. <laughs> that should be it as far as mutated cyborgs go. So we'll pick up his rail clip. Destroy that camera, level security is down to 50%. Destroy that one, level security is down to 37%. Down here, we find a first aid kit. A power station. And if we push the button... We are teleported into a cell. Human bones. Isolinear chipset. Okay. I forgot about the isolinear chipset, but if you remember, that must be the skeleton of Bianca Schuler. We'll need the isolinear chipset in order to do battle with Shodan. There's another camera. Destroy that. Level security is down to 25%. There's another one. Destroy it. Level security is down to 12%. Well. There's the other assassin. He's got nothing. 
that's it for the assassins. So now, by my count, all that's left is nine security two bots, ten cyborg elites, and the one cortex reaver. There's an AM splinter clip and a large slag clip for the scorpion. And in here, we've got another opening. See bad guys in the floor underneath me. Lots of them. The multiple levels are making my auto map kind of useless. I'll fill it in anyway, just for completeness sake. And I guess I have to hit this button. I have some idea what's going to happen. Should be eight of these left. Now there should be seven. Six. Navigation and mapping unit V3. We had. Damn it. Don't know how I was missing with the laser right here. There should only be five of those left now, in the entirety of the game. We already have level version 3 jump jets. Two. 
two. He dropped some magnesium tip shells for my assault rifle. One. And this looks like it's almost completely filled in. But not quite. What am I missing? There it is. All right. Let's open the third four store. Four store two to computer room open. All right, we've opened all the four stores to the computer room. Let's find the repulsor that lets me up out of here. There we go. All right. So 10 cyborg elites, one security two bot, one cortex reaver. Let's see what's in the storage room. There's a meta patch, a first aid kit, a meta patch, Version 4 of the shield, and a reflex patch. Little use of the jump jets. Gets us to the last Security 2 bot and a large Okay. Let's see. I guess next. I need to tackle the Cortex Reaver and the room in the west. I'll try the west room first. Oh, except I think that's that's where we need to take the isolinear chipset. That's where we've been opening four stores. Nope, this is where we've been opening four stores. My bad. Let's do the shielded room then. Three concussion bombs. Mag pulse, two mag pulse cartridges, railgun ammo, alright so just a lot of good high quality goodies in there. Now through here, if I can find it. Right behind this door is the Cortex Reaver. Might as well use the other 
one or the other ICAD. Since we're right here anyway, I'm gonna hit a meta patch. Destroy the Cortex Reaver with a Berserk patch. Pick up a first aid kit. Ver redundant version 3 Enviro suit. Redundant version 4 target identifier. Wait for the side effects of the Berserk patch to wear off. There. We find another first aid kit. Alright, I think that just leaves 10 Cyborg Elites. Three Magpulse cartridges. Oh, yes. Deactivate the shield. You'll notice version 4 gives us awesome protection and dramatically dropped the energy cost. So, way to go on that. Now... Yes. That's the central hub where Shodan is. We still can't get in there. What we've done is opened the three four stores to the computer room where we have to install the isolinear chipset and then we will have access to the central hub. So... Let's destroy the last camera. Drop level security to zero. Over here, we got three meta patches. And a corpse. Another power station. Awesome. The circuit board slot. Computer program entry. All right. Here, I think, is where we need to put... Program Security Breaker installed. There's where we plug in the isolinear chipset. Now, we should be able to attack Shodan. I'm gonna use Large Slag on the Scorpion to gun down her elite cyborg guards. Yes, we can go in now. All right, let's do this. It's radiated in here.
Might as well pop into Bianca's cell and refill our energy since it's right there. I think there's still one elite cyborg left in here. That should be everything. Now let's explore the central hub. Not that any of this matters really at all. Corpse has nothing. All right, I think we're ready. Let's head into cyberspace. You'll notice there's no uh, time limit here. That wear is obsolete. Very good. I want you to go that way, dude. I guess we're getting swept to this way. That's fine. We'll destroy Shodan's cyber guards. Turn left. Left! Ugh, won't happen. Won't go. Okay. I'm having to use a first aid kit every time that those ice defenses kill me. what this stuff is. Recall. Turbo version 2. Decoy version 2. Get back some personal integrity. Doesn't seem to be helping me much.
Got it. That's Sea Shield version 8. Which is good. I'll be glad to have it. I don't know exactly where I'm being routed to now. Shodan! Here she comes. Now when that happens, we lose. I didn't kill her fast enough. Hmm. I like it. Although I don't really see what I did wrong there either. That's the way I came in. There's the way out. I might have my DOS box running too fast. Because the, uh, pixelation, you know, the screen slowly filling in with a picture of Shodan, that happened a lot faster than I think it's supposed to. Yeah. Give me a minute to tweak my DOS box settings. Alright, I turned down the number of cycles. I'd have turned it too low. Yeah, this is unplayable. All right, let's see if that works. I think this is still going to be a little too slow. Yep, still too slow. Alright, let's try it again. This I can do, I think. I have to turn into the inner ring. And now I gotta try and nail Shodan. that's much saner. Now, Shodan doesn't have a pulser. She's not uh, shooting anything at me, but what does happen when you get into her room is <clears throat> it's very difficult to steer yourself. A funny thing happened just then. I won, and when it tried to play the ending cutscene, it crashed. So what I'm going to do is kill Shodan again. I'm just going to turn off the recorder because it's 
not that it can't play the cutscenes, and or even that it can't record the cutscenes, but what happens is if it tries to transition directly into a cutscene from the main game, it crashes. So I'm gonna stop recording while I kill Shodan again, and then uh, record again. It's over. They offered you a nice job at Trioptimum. It never occurred to you to take it. Old habits die hard. We have finished System Shock. Congratulations, you've completed System Shock. Hit Escape to view credits. Statistics. Time, 14 hours, 25 minutes, 4 seconds. Kills, 702. Regenerations, 234. <laughs> Difficulty Index, 31. Score, 1,844,156. I have no idea how it calculates a score, but let's view the credits. Created by Looking Glass Technologies, Salt the Fries. Producer, Warren Spector. Artists, James Dollar. I don't need to read the credits to you, except... Austin Grossman, Tim Stelmach, or people whose names I recognize from their later work. Greg LaPiccolo did the music and sound effects. Elevator theme by Tim Reeves. Audio log processing, Eric Grosius, Greg LaPiccolo, and Tom Strike. English voices, Shodan, Terry Barris, anyway. Harvey Smith was part of the Origin Systems playtest. I'm waiting for the famous haiku at the end of the credits. Translations, French version, German version. Thanks to the rest of LG for putting up with us. Origin customer support, marketing and sales. Thank you and good night. Bloodshot Pizza Box, Caffeine Overdrive Sorrow, Embrace the Chaos, Bark. Really? And then, rather suddenly, the game just exited at the end of the credits, so I just, uh, I reloaded it to, you know, say my farewell to this particular Let's Play. It was a lot of fun, I'm glad I have finally finished System Shock 1, and thanks all of you for watching. Next, we will play the sequel, System Shock 2, which is just an incredible game, one of my all-time favorites. I mean, you know, I got carried away talking about Thief and Deus Ex, and I almost forgot about these games, but honestly, Shock 2 is right up there with Thief and Deus Ex in terms of quality, so I'm very excited to play it now that the original is finished. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time for Let's Play System Shock 2. Bye-bye.